Hello, this is How to Bob, and I put this video together to show you how to read a ruler or a tape measure. Now this may be basic to some, but I'm hoping that it'll help others to be able to read a ruler. So what I have here is a ruler that's broken down into one inch segment, and what I'm going to do is break it down into the 16 different hash marks you see in between each inch here, and allow you to read each one. So I'm going to start with my piece of paper and I'm going to draw a line and this line is going to represent a one inch segment. So between here and here is going to be one inch and that is between here and here. My next step is to break the one inch into a half. So I split it half and that is my one half inch mark and you can see this on the ruler it is the next biggest line it's right there next I'm going to break it into a quarter and that is just breaking the half into basically a half again and that will be designated by one quarter and one quarter here and on the ruler that one is shown right here so I'll have a quarter and three quarters and you'll see that there are four different spaces now. So, next thing I'm going to do is break it down into one eighth. So, I again split the quarter in half, and that will be my one eighth inch mark on this one inch segment here. So, I'm going to go ahead and write this out with one eighth on each one. So, now that I have all my one eighth inch marks, you can see I have eight different spaces. So, it'd be one eighth, quarter, three-eighths and so on. So here is my one-eighth on the tape measure or the ruler here. So now I'm going to break it down into one-sixteenth, which is the most common breakdown for most rulers or tape measures. And once I get that done, I'm going to go ahead and mark each segment one-sixteenth all the way across the board. And you'll notice once I get that done, I'll have 16 different segments in between each mark. So it'll be one-sixteenth, one eighth, three sixteenths, one quarter, and so on down the line here. You can see these are the very smallest measurements on my tape measure, which is right here, and that's the one sixteenth. So that's how you break down a ruler, and you'll see that I have 16 different spaces in between each notch. So that is your one inch, and that's how you read a tape measure. This is How To Bob. Thanks for watching.